Oh, hello. I'm still here, Ed Tom, and I say that every video, I know, but uh, I've always wanted to check one of these out, spend some time with it. It's a uh, Gretsch Electromatic Projet. Uh, this one is called Projet Car. I think that means cardinal for the color. Just look how pretty this thing is. Gold on the red, got an Iron Man theme going on. <laughs> Hi, Matt. <laughs> Matt Knight from uh, Boss Pedals. And uh, you know, some podcast no one's ever heard of uh, was waving to me outside the window. <laughs> but anyways, let's uh, put this thing through its paces and see if I have anything to say about it, you know. Th you know, this whole thing is pretty interesting because, you know, you're used to me doing demos, you're used to me reviewing things. Uh, those usually, those videos usually occur after me spending days, weeks with the product and then, you know, sitting down and doing a very purposeful video and this has just been crazy. I just grab stuff, go in a room and a play and uh, go in a room and a play. I don't know why I said it like an Italian pizza chef. I go in a room, I play around with it. It's very quick, like first impressions. Uh, you know, there might be things I miss, but uh, let's have some fun. I don't know why I'm doing this disclaimer on the last day. Here is, I've got this going into this uh, Blues Deluxe reissue on the Dirty Channel with the gain pretty low, but it's still pretty crispy. Lots of crunch here. And I'm out of tune. Is my review of this guitar that it's out of tune constantly? It's that pesky G string. Let's, uh, let's shoot out the pickups. Here is the bridge. You know what, let's go for a clean sound. Here is the bridge pickup on clean sound. Middle position. Neck position. I'm hearing some ting and pinging when I'm uh, the T and the P. I mean, I'm using the, the big speed here. Let's see if it's in tune. No, it went way out of tune. This is a $600 guitar. It's that G string every time. I'm sure with some work, you could uh, dial out the uh, the going out of tune issues, get some graphite on the bridge. That's where I'm hearing the tinging and pinging coming from. Uh, it might be the nut too. Nuts always need a little bit of lubrication. But this thing it has tuning issues, is what it comes down to. I do like the way it sounds.
there's something about it too that's like I feel like the it's hard for me to track where the strings are while I'm playing it. That might just be me being tired right now. But you know what? Six hundred dollars. It looks fantastic. Well, six hundred euro, anyways. It looks fantastic. Uh, there's a few issues here. Just you know, sticky nut, sticky bridge. It's causing the strings to go out of tune. Um, but those are things that can be overcome. The body feels nice and resonant, and it's comfortable to play. Uh, I feel like I'd need to have some sort of bonding time with this guitar to be comfortable with it. There's just a bit of a unique feel to it, I guess. The action is really nice and fast. Um, and, you know, I'm having fun. I think it sounds good. I like the sound of the pickups. I definitely like the look. Maybe I'll play just a little bit more. Yeah, I really like the sound of that pickup. Great tonality to that. I would have a bunch of fun with that sound, uh, writing and playing at home and doing all sorts of stuff. And I'm kind of torn on this one. I gotta admit, I'm kind of torn. The, I mean, the look and the sound is there. I'd have to get used to the feel. Um, I'd have to overcome the, uh, the tuning issues, the tinging and pinging. Um, but I don't know. You guys make your own decision, I guess, if you're on the fence about one of these things. Later, guys.